Hi guys, I'm back. Um, yep, I'm having a good morning today. <laughs> um, I have loads of, of stuff that I could show you. Um, hi, Megan. Just come in. I'm not sure who else is there. Um, so I was chatting with Megan actually this morning and just after or just as I was finishing uh, my live video this morning, I received a package in the mail. So um, she wanted me to show her. So <laughs> I thought may as well just go live and whoever else wants to see can see as well. Um, so I actually... Um, had somebody ask if I had used Black Widow pencils uh, in my group this week and um, I hadn't but I had heard about them so I decided that I would contact Black Widow and have a chat and see uh, what the go was with with their pencils um, and he was happy to send me some to try um, to review and to let you guys know what they're like. So he is in Australia. Um, so obviously it only took like two days to get here, which is awesome. So I'm pretty excited about that. So I've already taken the box off, but I haven't actually looked at the pencils. Um, now I couldn't find any color charts or anything online. So I just did my own 24, you know, table thing and I'll just do a quick um, test of that. I've just done it on uh, quill paper that we have here in Australia so I'll show you that before I go and um, do the test but let's just see if we can get this thing open. It was well packaged. It came in a box with lots of um, padding around it and this bubble wrap. And it's noisy, sorry. Get it out. Okay. So he um he didn't have any of the other set with the um copper on the front. This is the newer set um, that they've got. But I don't like spiders, so <laughs> that's kind of pretty scary looking at that. Um now I'm not sure if they've got their own colours or anything either, so um I'm hoping they do. Let's have a look. They childproofed it. <sighs> oh, the box is gorgeous. So um, it says on the back here, Proudly offered by Medi Health, made in China. Okay, so they're not actually made in Australia. They are made in China. They're supposed to be blackwood pencils, um, and I've heard some good things. So let's um, have a look. If you have any questions, please pop them up. Ah, uh, hang on, there's tape on the other side. What do they smell? actually nice I like new things <laughs> okay so I've opened up the tin so it is a tin and um, it looks like the I'm not sure what the difference between this set and this set is just is an addition number written on them so but yeah it looks like the, the pencils all have their own interesting names which I really like um, Ladybug banana. I think that's supposed to be tarantula. Zephyra blue. Cyanide pink. Pumpkin. Cicada. Foxy brown. Fang green. Lemon. Sting bug. Casper. Egg yolk. Toadstool. Watermelon. Uh, plum pudding. 
sorry, these are funny. <laughs> uh, Amethyst, I wasn't expecting them to be named like that. Uh, Forget Me Not, Starry Night, Everglade, Toxic Green, Huntsman, um, Spiderweb, and Black Widow. Okay. Um, but it does say on the front that they're wax-coloured pencils, so wax-based pencils that I know of, um, Karen Dash, Prismacolor, um, that I've used. So this should be good. But, yes, they are very, very pretty. Megan's just um, mentioned there. Oh, they're so cool. They have their names written on them. The colours look really good against the black. And they smell good. So it looks like they're coated in some sort of plastic coating. They're actually really quite thin. And at this stage that I can see there's no open stock. So if you were to run out of one color, um, they don't have just open stock where you can just buy one color as yet. I'm, I'm going to assume that as they get more popular, they will. All right, so let's have a play. I have to excuse my messy writing. Okay. So this is the paper that I'm using. It's called Quill Board. It's um color 01 white. It's a 200 GSM paper. There's 100 sheets in this pack. It's A4 size. Uh, this pack cost me about $12. Um, and the paper is, I find it quite good for Polychromos and uh, Prismacolors. The last picture I did of pencil was done on this paper too so uh, it is nice paper it's got a little bit of a tooth um, but not too much so it doesn't look too grainy so um, I'm going to start from the first one I guess so what I thought I might do is write the color in here if I had have known they had color names to start I would have done that already but um, I'm just checking to see it looks like they've got numbers on them as well They do. Okay. Find my pen. So just while I'm looking for a pen to write in there, a couple of things to remember if you do end up watching this is the 1K giveaway. I've popped the link in this description of this video for you and also the help video. So if you're not sure how to enter or you're a little bit confused in what the goal is, you can have a look at that as well. Um, so check that out also too I did a live video this morning uh, which got cut short and I had to restart it um, just announcing the winner of the first day of the Jade Summer giveaway so if you're wanting to enter the second one um, pop over to my Facebook page and um, it is the pinned post on the page so hopefully you'll be able to find it because it'll be pinned to the top um, so have a look at that I'm just checking I've got a purple pen hint hint onto my favorite color there so the numbers I'm going to assume it says BW91 I don't know if you can see that on camera there the light's a bit odd but um so it says BW91 and Casper so I'll just write Casper first and this is a white pencil it's going to be hard to tell on a white piece of paper, but what I'll do is I'll start off doing a light layer over the whole area here. And what I'll do is I'll do medium, light and heavy pressure. Not that you can see the white. That probably wasn't even worth showing. It looks like it's laying down nicely. I won't tell until I, go, until I get to the coloured section though. Just putting high pressure on this bit. A little bit of dust, but not a lot. That wasn't the best example to start with, hey? <laughs> okay, so I've got, uh, it says BW25 and Lemonade. Let's 
This looks like a yellow. Can you see that okay or is it quite blurry or too slow or too I don't know how quick the video capture is so it's hard to tell. Sort of pushing a little bit firmer on this section and then up here I'll just sort of put a fair bit of pressure to see how it coats. So far they feel really nice and smooth and creamy, which is what I've heard. Fair bit of dust there. Slightly blurry, is it? So hard to tell. I'm going to try... <laughs> this time I'll try not to disconnect. Uh, let me just see if I can... Adjust the Does that make it any better. Just tried to clean that up a bit. What I might do is just bring the camera in a little bit as well and see if that helps. You know what, it's it's really strange working through this Google Hangouts. Um, everything on the Hangout screen is actually mirrored, so um, everything's actually back to front on the screen for me, so <laughs> it looks quite weird. But um, I've just gone up a bit closer there. Is that a bit better? So I've done a heavy, uh, oh, I'm doing the wrong colour now. Goodness, goodness me, I've picked up the other one. So this one I'm doing is BW12, which is banana. Try that again. It's more like a cadmium yellow. So I'm just doing medium pressure, so light, medium, and then heavy. Um, it doesn't seem to be leaving any gaps or tooth. It seems to be blending in quite well with itself. So then the next step will be trying to blend it with each other to see how they come out. Okay, I've got egg yolk. So if you've just come in, um, I did have a little giggle at all of the names <laughs> before when I was reading them out. Definitely different. Um, made my day, I think. Okay, so that one's egg yolk. Let's try that. Looks like an orange. It's an orange yellow, sunburst yellow maybe. Doing a firm pressure now. They were all sharpened too, so. Hi, Hilary, thanks for joining us. Um, so I'm just sort of having a test of these new pencils that I got uh, in the mail while I was recording the last live video this morning. So. Um, decided to pop on and video myself having a play with them. So this one's pumpkin. Got a cadmium orange there. Now I'm not sure if the sets have all got different colours. I heard that they have. Um, but once I've done this review and I get back to uh, Black Widow, I will double check those things as well.
the darker colors aren't as easy to lay down I needed to put a little bit more pressure there to get that smooth um, but as I said I don't even know if they'll go on top of each other yet so we'll just keep going through them and see how we go uh, toadstool well that's interesting Okay, so Hillary was just saying that she has the scorpion set. I know there was one with a cobra on the front as well. Um, but I actually don't, she was saying that there was a pig's ear one. Now, <laughs> that's actually not in this set. So I'm going to assume that every set is different. Um, because, yeah, I'm pretty sure I didn't read out pig's ear earlier. What a strange name. <laughs> All right, what's next? Oh, it's purple. <clears throat> Plum pudding. A good name too. It's kind of purple pink that one. So you can see the difference in light pressure, medium pressure, and heavy pressure. I'm going to need to grab my dusting brush, I think. It's the only thing that I find the difference between wax and oil based is wax pencils tend to have a lot more dust. I've got, I think it's pronounced cyanide pink. I'm not good with names, so. It's, it's a P, BW46. Nice hot pink. They all sound deadly, don't they? <laughs> So my cat is snoring next to me on the bed here and she's so noisy. <laughs> so um Hillary, have you joined the Jade Summer um giveaway yet? It's um, the pinned post on my page. I've put the links in the description. So the only thing with the uh, linking to the actual competition page is really hard. So um, I've just pinned it to the top of the page. So just go along and have a look and go and have a look at some of Jade Summers' books and pick a page that you might like me to do live like this. Uh, also, make sure you've entered the um, other competitions as well. So all, all of the links are in, they're not really competitions, they're giveaways. All of the links are in the um, description of this video as well. It's 
So Hillary's saying it looks like this set is different to her. So she's got the scorpion set um, and it's different. Watermelon. I once made a watermelon granata. That's interesting. <laughs> Ah, so I wonder if CS must stand for scorpion, I don't know, scorpion something, colour maybe? More dust there. Oh, they're very, very, very vibrant. All right, let's next. Ladybug. These are nice and bright. This set, so um, quite like all the colors so far. They're not as soft as Prismacolors, so I'm putting a bit of pressure on here and I'm not worried about that lead breaking. It seems to have a lot of, um, it's quite, even though it's a thin pencil, the leads are quite strong. Uh, with Prismacolors, I've got a pretty heavy hand, so the um, end of them blunt really quickly. That seems to be holding up quite well too. I think everybody must be asleep. There's not many people around today. Uh, cicada, I think this is how you spell it anyway. <laughs> All right. This is BW13. It's a light lime, no, light yellow green color. Actually, the um, colours are quite similar to their leads. I know sometimes when you're um, colouring, you the leads are a completely different colour to what actually comes out. So they seem to be laying down really well. The only thing that I can see at the moment that might be an issue um, is that there's no light purple, so it's going to be hard for me to blend. Um, I'm going to have to use either white or a different brand to be able to blend that purple in. The pinks aren't too bad. I could probably use those together, but there's no other or different red, so it's going to be hard for me to find a blend set within the colored pencils. What's this one? Everglade. Looks like I might be all right with greens. No, well, maybe not. This is a, so this one here is a yellow green and this one here is a more of a aqua or blue green. So probably the only problem that I could foresee is that there's no blending sets. 
usually um, with Prismacolor or Polychromos or even Caran d'Ache for that matter, um, I would have three, at least three colors to do a blend. So a, a darker color for the shadows, a mid-tone, which will be the actual color, and then a, a highlight color. So um, a light color for the highlight sections. You can technically get that. Obviously, that's what I'm doing now. I've got light, middle, dark. Um, but you're still not going to get a lot of depth without adding any darker shade in there. So, Hilary, do you think that um, maybe they are different? Do they look the same or do they look different from what you can see that I've done so far from the Scorpion set? This toxic green. I think I would definitely need all the sets to be able to tell if there was a blend, a good blend combo. I think if they're going to have um, success in selling them, I think that having a larger set would definitely be better. I'm just, uh, Megan was suggesting that they do a 48 or 72 set so that we had more colours to blend with. I've got Fang Green. The dark green. So these two colours together might not be too bad. This is sort of a moss green though, so they're still different tones or shades. The texture of the pencils is quite cool. It's like um, kind of chalky, but it's not. It's hard to explain. <laughs> Lots of dust. All right, what's next? Forget me not. Coming into blues now. So um, Hillary was just saying there's no white in the Scorpion set. Um, there is actually a white in this one. So the Casper is white. And um, it seems to be white. It's maybe slightly tinted, but it's mainly white. Okay, what have we got? I don't know how to say that. I think it's Zephyr. Zephyr. 
Z E P H Y R blue. Pretty blue. One's like a denim blue. All right, this looks like a purple as well, so that could be good. Amethyst. Is that your birthstone, Megan? Ah, oh, hi Grace, thanks for joining us. Um, I've popped a link for the Black Widow pencils um, on Amazon. Uh, I don't know of anywhere else at the moment where they sell them, so I've just popped that link in there for now. So if you wanted to have a look at those, there's a link. I'm not exactly sure how much they are. I probably should have worked that out before <laughs> I started filming. But um, I was just saying that I just got them in the mail today and I just was too excited. We had to open them and have a look. They're really, really bright. Actually, I'm not sure about the colour fastness of these. I haven't looked into them in too much detail yet. I wanted to just try them first. Um, look there, what have I got next? Starry Night. Grace was just saying her favourite pencils at the moment were the Schiffer Fabian, is that how you say them? Um, I actually haven't tried them, but I've seen a couple of uh, friendly YouTubers try them. I know that Dia Lenahan has tried them on her channel. She actually did a giveaway for them a little while ago. Um, I was just saying earlier on in the video that I prefer to buy pencils that I know I can get in open stock as well. So if I do run out of a colour, I can just order it instead of having to buy a whole set of pencils just for one colour because then it can actually end up being really expensive. I really like that blue. It's pretty. So it looks like the blues I'd probably be able to get a nice blend out of um, and maybe even the purples if I was to use the darker. But with the purples, I could use a bit of blue as well to be a shadow colour. All right. This one is called Stink Bug. <laughs> <laughs> sorry <laughs> um let's hope it doesn't smell when I lay it down hey
idea. Um, I have no idea what kind of name stink bug is, but it's interesting. <laughs> All right, let's have a look here. What have we got next? Oh. Uh, Foxy Brown. I think a stink bug is an Australian thing um, too, so that's kind of funny. Hillary's is saying that the Scorpion set has a light and a dark purple. This has got kind of two purples. It's not, this one up here is more of a fuchsia type purple, whereas this is a real purple. So, I mean, you could use them for blending, but. Next one I've got is. Tarantula. Tarantula, I think. I don't know. I've never seen it spelled like that, but okay. T A R A N T U L A. Ugh, I hate spiders. <laughs> um, so this is a darker brown. So I think there is three sets. Um, I've seen one with a scorpion on the front and one with a cobra on the front, and this one has the um, red back on the front. Can't really see it. Hang on. Which <laughs> is all I'm saying. It is a very pretty um, picture, though. So Black Widow only had this set left um, to be able to send to me this time around. So um, that's why I've only got these ones. They um, seem to be selling out of stock of a lot of the others. This one's called Spiderweb. It's kind of ironic that I get this one though, being a non-spider lover. Yes, I do a lot of enabling. Um, I apologize. A lot of um, products I usually buy myself, but sometimes I get the rare opportunity to review something. It's nice um, to be able to do that. <laughs> I can see a little bit of blooming happening. Um, so it's like it's not a smooth, even color in some spots. So that's just from uh, layering over the top of, of itself, um, pushing down that tooth. But you could probably just use a um, blending pencil or stick to go over that to smooth it off. Um, Huntsman is the next one. Oh. Another spider name. Actually, probably one that I really don't like. <laughs> so a huntsman is an Australian, well, I don't know if they have them anywhere else, but huntsman is Australian and they're big, large, ugly-looking spiders. Um, 
and obviously the red back on the front of the tin is another Australian one which um, likes to hide and is highly poisonous. So I wonder if the Cobra pack had all snake names. <clears throat> And the last one is called, guess, Black Widow, which is another spider we have here, <clears throat> which is highly poisonous. So we've got a poison set of pencils here. And it looks like this one's just black. So what I might do is I might grab a white pencil and go over some of it with white to see how it comes out. Like to test stuff, so. No black mamba. <laughs> um, black widow this time. <laughs> All right, so I'll grab the the white the white in this brand that it was called Casper. I'm just gonna give it. Um, just try mixing it with the the light at the bottom of it, just to see if it mixes in. Um, So it looks like you can get a layer of, or two layers on there, which is good. That means that, well, doesn't necessarily mean that they'll all blend because sometimes the white's different. <clears throat> so I'm just mixing the white over half of the light shaded areas and it's picking up the um, color. So I've just got to wipe my pencil off there. It didn't mix very well with the spiderweb colour. I'll um, scan this in and I'll uh, put it up to so you can see a closer shot of it. Uh, Hillary is just saying that she just brought them. Did you do you mean you just brought these ones, the Black Widow ones? <laughs> or or are we talking about the Scorpion ones now? I just The white mixes nicely with the purple, kind of comes out a bit pinker. It did not mix very well with the forget me not. It didn't even mix it actually. It's still, it's hard to see there, but it didn't mix very well at all. The others you can see they kind of softened off a bit. Sometimes it depends on the pigment. Hi, Melissa. Thanks for joining us. Just cleaning off my pencil. So I've just done a, a color chart of all the pencils in the pack and um, I was just having a giggle over all the names. Um, now I'm just trying the Casper, which is white, over the top of the other colours to see how they blend together. I've purchased a lot of pencils in my time, but um, 
I kind of got over it and I just use my Prisma colors and my Polychromos now because um, I know I can get them an individual pencil so it's a lot easier when I'm going through them so quickly to reorder um, with some of these specialty packs it's a lot harder because they don't have open stock um, I also use Karen Dash but I don't have a full set of those they're on my list <laughs> oh mixes nice with the pink I'm going to try um, a blender as well, maybe the Karen Dash one because that's wax-based um, and see how that looks. This one here could possibly be used for skin colour. That was the Toadstool, which is a strange name for that colour. The white blends really good with the banana, uh, the banana color too. It smoothed it out really nicely. And that's lemonade. Okay, so that was the Casper with them. Uh, I want to try the. If I can find it. In a mess. I can't find my biggest stick, but this is a Karen Dash blending stick. I have got a full one somewhere, but I'm not sure where it disappeared to. I just um, sharpen it with my electric sharpener to get a bit of a point on it, uh, but if he's tiny. <laughs> I'm going to do this on the top of the white there. Oh, wow. Works really well with these. Um, so the Karen Dash uh, blending stick is just clear wax, basically. Um, and what it does is it goes over, it puts a layer over the top of the pencil and um, it helps to sort of blend it in and smooth out the rest of the tooth there uh, without putting any colour into it. So if you didn't want it to be sort of uh, have white through it to make it that light, you could just use something like this so it wouldn't change the colour of it. Um, you can get like Prismacolor have their colorless blender. I, I think pretty much every large pencil set do. I know Derwent's got one. Splendor is Lyra. So um, I was just reading uh, Melissa's post. She just said that she's got all three sets and they're all different. So that answers all my questions that I had earlier. So what I might do is I might do a blend. Oh, that mixed in red then. Didn't wipe it off enough. I really like that one that comes out nice. So, so far, they're not quite as soft as Prismacolors. Um, they've got a firmer lead. Um, so being a wax-based pencil, they're still quite firm, but they are still creamy. Gonna have a quick look at the Prismacolor blender as well. 
I think the Prismacolor blender takes off too much um, pigment so I don't use it as often as, as I do the other one it seems to be the same so that's good so I just wanted to try a few things for you to see what they look like hopefully um that helps I just put black in there that's good of me um, you can see them there so the only color that I might be able to blend would maybe the be the two blue so the starry night and the forget me not got all my pencils out of my little tin all over the place <laughs> okay so I'm gonna try blending these I'm using the starry night first and then the forget me not. And a bit of the white. I haven't resharpened that white yet, so that's a good sign. It's getting close. I've done all of that colouring with it and it's got flatter. Try a little bit of the black just on the edge there make that a little bit darker so I'm just going to keep layering until I get uh, finished or flattened tooth on them So um, I guess my final thoughts on them are that I think they're great. Um, they're not quite as soft as the Prismacolors. They are very different to Polychromos. Polychromos are a harder pencil lead as well, but um, they're oil-based, so they sort of go down a little bit different. So has anyone got any questions um i'll just mention again don't forget the giveaway uh, i've got nine artists giving away books for this 1k subscriber giveaway uh, uh, i said earlier that all the links are in the description as well i've popped it all down there for you so it's done um come over and check out the facebook group join in on all of the giveaways the jade summer one uh, is on my page so Make sure you go and check that out as well. If you did like the video today, I do apologize for not being very organized. And um, <laughs> But uh, if you want to get notifications when I do upload videos or go live again, make sure you like and subscribe. I was very lucky to um, have some amazing artists um, whom I've coloured for on my channel. 
Um, and I, I didn't actually get to contact all of them. I, I got through half of my list and um, almost all of them were wrapped and happy to help celebrate. So um, I, I kind of thought, well, I'll leave the next half of the list for um, the next giveaway. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, I probably could have ended up with a lot, a lot more, but um, I'm really, really happy and pleased with what we've got there. And hopefully there's something that you guys um, like. Okay, so I've just gone over and over and over and over and over. It, it looks pretty good. I'm quite happy with the way they blended together. Um, it's nice and smooth now. I'll just go over it with that Karen Dash. Make sure it's pushed down nicely. Good. Um, I'm going to try my white gel pen on it and also see. Oh, goes on perfect. There's my little bubble. How's that look? So it's um, really shiny. You can see that light reflecting off it there. Um, but it actually smoothed in quite well. You can't really see the difference between the colours. You can a little bit, but it's not hugely I don't, relevant. Um, look at the gel pen, though. Um, the colours coming through. That happens with um, Prismacolors as well. You can't sort of go over it with a gel pen without it coming through. But I've got a little bit of white gouache here. I use just a cheap brand. Um cheap brand uh, artist spectrum I guess they're not really cheap cheap but um, brand white gouache gouache is or gouache is um, a watercolor opaque paint um, but I'll use it if the gel pen doesn't work properly so I'm just going to give that a little bit of a go the coloring book I'm coloring right now uh, I'm doing a picture out of August Reverie. I think that's how you say the name. Um, I showed a little sneak peek this morning, but this is what I'm working on with Marcus. So um, I'll be doing a video up for that one in the next week. The white gouache, it done. And that's not seeping through and that's almost dry already. So, so guys, I hope you liked that. It's um, 12.30 in the afternoon, so it's uh, lunchtime right now. Any other questions before I run away? Um, Grace just said that she likes the skin colour on the one I've just done, this one. Um, it's actually skin coloured, but it's got a yellow glow on it, so it sort of blends in with the background there a bit, so it's a little bit different this time. Um, but um, I have loads of videos with um, colour combos, um, and all of my, most of my marker videos, I have the conversion charts from marker to Prismacolor and Polychromos pencils. So um, I've done them available for patrons. Uh, so if you're interested in that, pop over to Patreon. Uh, the links are in the description below. I'm pretty sure I left them in there, so you can check that out. Um, so, yeah, anything else before I run away? <laughs> I, I am really impressed with these pencils. I'm going to go back to... Um, Black Widow and give them my my um my impressions. Um, I think it's great to be able to do this live too, so that you can see that it, it's not like you know I haven't been paid to do it, but they did give me the pencils, um, and it is an honest review. So you're seeing live what I feel and what I think of them, which is good. Um, so yeah, it's not scripted or anything like that. And um, I hate that I accidentally put a little bit of black in there keeps putting me off um but yeah so guys I um 
I will chat with you all soon. And if you have any questions, come and visit us on Facebook because we're around all the time. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Have a great day.